In this video I want to show you how long can the Xiaomi scooter resist since I do some pretty brutal tests. Quite sudden and it can suit them very well before buying this skateboard. A while ago I bought this Xiaomi skateboard. That is the Xiaomi Mi scooter essential. Then which then? I was walking a lot in the rain, in mud and things like that. However, I wanted to make it a little more extreme due to what the scooter I did so well in that part. Many will find it convenient while I was out there going in the park. It turns out that I found a small swamp there and I said, come and I'll put it to the test because suddenly many have to walk around. They have to get puddled, flood, or things like that because there is no need to. Suddenly something happens to them because there is one that I made out of urgency. So this is the first test and I tried to go through that same swamp several times because it was the only part that you can do that first test there. As you can see, in many cases we try to stop due to wait. However, the skateboard does not give up. That was what surprised me the most. But still this, this last shot. I dropped my phone and that's why I had to stop recording. And the last one I was doing to him. I was trying to find a pasture like that. Quite big but unfortunately it couldn't pass. Because it was quite humid and quite. Abundant. So I better decided to get out of there and therefore. I wanted to check how the skateboard was. And one of the things that surprised me the most is that. It's pretty clean. I mean it was obviously because of the grass. But nevertheless, that was that suddenly, some water will leak into the tires. In the battery, or what do I know? So I wanted to go to a second phase, and was to go to the puddles a little deeper. So I found a puddle, later, and then I decided and several times, so be it, getting into trouble like that, jumping on, trying to wet as much as possible, on this skateboard, because that's the idea because something doesn't happen suddenly. And then when you get home, I looked in detail and it turns out that that is fine. Thought that in case for some reason something happens to him, it is so that it does not leak. The electronic part inside the skateboard shell, that was what surprised me the most there as you can see. But the next test was going to be a little more strict and that is what is going to happen in almost the entire world and it's okay and all the irregularities that exist in the streets, but getting into holes, to get into places where I shouldn't. Obviously since I'm recording with one hand, something that should not. What I'm trying to do is, can be seen, in more detail everything I'm doing. However, in many cases you may even lose control. You could get into an accident or something worse could happen to you. But in my case, I almost fell later there. As you can see in the video. But as I tell you in the case of. On asphalted terrain and irregularities. The most likely thing is that one will get a flat tire. There how can they I fell. However I do not. However. In my case it didn't happen at all. The tire continued to work as it should. But the most likely thing is that they can be punctured. And then change a tire. Repair them. It could be a headache for this skateboard. If you want you can watch other people's videos. How it changes. For you to see. But so many wet ones. And the irregularity of the street endured. In this case I had the people carry it. Since I went to a friend's. So they could try it. And wow it's the first time he rides a skateboard. With his girlfriend and they had fun for a very good time. I think it took almost an hour and a half and yet the battery lasted too long. From my skateboard, I was surprised, and they stayed walking for a while. I do not know. They began to say a world of crazy things. I'm going to put that at the end of the video, so that you can hear how he takes false, and behind the scenes I also put, well, so that, so that they could wet it again? Let's see if it suddenly causes a problem, but not. In other words, he went to get into the beast, as you can see, but the skateboard still holds up. That's what surprised me. I decided to get it totally wet. 
since it can happen to many and they can forget. And the skateboard, they can get wet in the rain, or something like that, or they don't have a way to clear the field, or how they have to be transported. So I let it soak for a while. And yet, I saw that the skateboard did not leak. That's what I'm clarifying. I put that screen protector on it, and since that is the most sensitive part, and yes it can be damaged, but I show you let's say like so, the mechanical agreement and all that, and well after three hours later, it was already raining too hard, and well I wanted to show you, if in reality, the skateboard still works, after several hours of rain, there as you can see it is totally wet and still, the skateboard still works, so I said, I'll come let's try it rather let's use it in the rain. And well said and done. I started using it ordinary. As you can see, as I already have a lot of talk about driving this scooter, then with one hand I have left, it is now easy for me to see a lot. Most likely they could slip, they can fall, and something like that can happen to them. But still the skateboard held on as long as I could. I never had any kind of problem. Or at least that unit has happened to me. I wanted to do one last test and it is. What can happen to many? Let him drop his skateboard. That someone knocks him down accidentally. Or someone who does it on purpose. And as you can see sometimes some scratches start on the. At the address. But it's rare to see. Some scratches like that. Say on the skateboard casing. As you can see, I make him knock him down several times. And below, as you can see, the scratches are very minimal. However, I wanted to make it even harder. I wanted to kick him, but hard there. As you can see in the video, I throw it very hard. And the skateboard protector fell off the screen. Clear and yet. Even so. I didn't feel like any slack. Some little problem or something like that. The skateboard. I mean I don't know if it is. Xiaomi thought in many ways that, that those kinds of things would happen to him or, whether I resisted it or I don't know. And finally huh, I wanted to move it forward and make it fall hard. And still nothing happened to the skateboard, since it can happen to many if for some reason, they get into an accident or something happens to them. And well the skateboard must at least resist something. And yet there the brake was scraped. And the final conclusion is that the skateboard resisted. All the common tests that one can undergo. I was impressed. I know it wasn't a good video or anything like that. But yes at least I did what I could. What can happen to you in everyday life? With any device, let it be scratched. If you drop it or get it wet or something like that. If the video was useful to you, let me know with a like. Subscribe activate the bell on everyone and see you next time. However, if you want to see the, the outtakes and all that, you will see it at the end of this video. You can see it now. Is this the battery? Yes. Is this for what? This is for putting the phone on the side. This is the new patinette of Xiaomi. Esta es la 1S.